Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mint flips, where every 100 subscribers, there is a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you are subscribed so you have a chance to win. Today I have, I think, 11 orders going out, but before I do that, I need to get rid of this mess. And by mess, I mean, this is all the stuff I got, well, not just this, all the stuff I got garage sailing at that 37 garage sale day marathon. I probably won't ever do that again. I think it was a quantity over quality type of situation where I should have just looked at the listings and been more picky about which ones I went to, but you never know. Uh, so I'm going to, because I ran out of memory, I'm going to just do a quick once over, show off everything I got. And then I actually, I have an appointment and then I will come back, try to list some of these things, or at the very least, I have to get it out of the way so I can pull my orders. So let's just start on one end and work our way around. First things up, uh, lots of free things I got. Got a, I don't know if this works, but a free catchphrase, a couple free uh, vintage handhelds, a free Pyrex uh, measuring cup, couple uh, Disney World Mickey Mouse. Um, these VHS were free. I don't know if they're worth anything, but maybe they're new. Um, what else was in the free stuff? I think that might have been all the stuff I got for free. Oh, and then this pile of travel books. Uh, I don't know if there's a lot of money in travel books, but I figured because it was a stack of them. If I put them in one lot, I'll at least make something more than free. Also, there was in the free piles... Um, this ashtray there was a second one but when i got it home i looked it over it had a bunch of chips in it so i ended up getting rid of that hey, let's see so we'll start over here got an ipkiss uh got some furbies i don't know if those are worth any money but they were interesting quarter a piece on all those this black and white four and a half inch tv i couldn't find a comp on this i even on terapeak no, I just said there was no comp. So I was very confused on that. I paid five bucks for it. I figure about $50, but I'm not positive on that one. Uh, this set of uh, Practical Handyman's Encyclopedias. I've actually had this set before, but mine was missing one of the books. I That was a mistake I made at a garage sale last year. Didn't check how many there were. There were so I don't know if I listed it. I think I listed it without the book. I don't remember. I'll have to check my listings. But this one was complete. That was $2. I think it sells for about $25. I got this Farberware rotisserie. It has all the parts, but it's very dirty. So I don't know if the rotisserie part is functioning. If it's not, probably about $50. Bucks. If it, or I might even uh, try to purchase one of the rotisserie motors but if it does work we're talking about 70 80 dollars on that and then i did get a bunch of revere wear a bunch so pan here here a uh tea kettle revere wear tea kettle big pile here total for all of them it was at two separate sale three separate sales actually this one was at it no uh, maybe i don't know maybe it was this these ones and these ones but it was less than 20 bucks for all of those. And one of these pans is worth about $20. I did go through, and this is something I do. If I all of a sudden have an influx of something, like now I have already a bunch of Revereware listed and I just got a bunch more. I went through all of my Revereware listings that were already listed and I reduced the price by a couple bucks, one buck, two buck, depending on how much the, the item was in the first place, because now I have more, I can take a little less money and get them moving out. There's no reason for me to, to hang on for a couple bucks to have a bunch of them sitting around. So I went through and reduced the price on those. There was one sale that unfortunately I didn't have any memory left on my memory card and it was the best one by far i got a a lot of stuff i got well i got all of these i'm not even sure what these were but i saw them sitting through i was going through and i went crazy i just started picking stuff prices were great and piling it up so i'm not really sure what these are but they looked old and i figured i'd at least try uh this was there i don't know if this is worth a lot of money paid 50 cents but if it's bakelite it would be worth more, but I'm not sure if it's old enough to be Bakelite. But still, either way, I think I'll get a few bucks for that. Uh, some old dice were there. And these ones, these green ones, I think are Bakelite. I'll have to test that out. But either way, dice sell okay if you have a bunch of them like that. This nifty little 
uh, jar top bottle opener. These niche vintage antique kitchen equipment things tend to sell fairly well. This was about the, the most expensive thing I bought at that sale. Four bucks for this. I didn't look it up. It seemed that at a sale where they priced everything cheap, very cheap, for this to be priced four bucks, I assumed they knew it was worth something, so I paid four bucks for it. I think that's, if I had to guess, I'd say probably $20, $25 for that. Um, also at that sale, I won't be able to keep in track, track in my mind where every sale was, but this was the score of the day. Uh, right here is one of them, but this brand, Sansui, is a great brand. I didn't even look at the brand of the units because what they had is one of those stereo uh, cases with the glass doors, and then there was two speakers, about four foot tall speakers, and then the whole stereo unit with all the components, and they had 10 bucks on it. And I said, 10 bucks like per unit or what? It, and they said, no, $10, the speaker, all of it. It was given to us by a neighbor. We're just trying to get rid of it. I said, well, I can't fit the speakers or the, the cabinet in my car, but for $10, I yes, I will buy all of them. And when I, I did finally start looking some stuff up last night and the Sansui ones are going from anywhere from 75 to $150 per piece and I think I got eight pieces in that stereo so 10 bucks into probably around $500 if everything works even if only half of them work I'm making great money right there so that was the score of the day unfortunately I don't have that on film uh then let's see what else we got some Tupperware some uh vintage like B horror film stuff uh down here we got scarecrows the Mummy, Rocky Horror, Little Shop of Horrors, the original, Elvira, a couple Gem and the Holograms VHS. I don't know if those are worth any money, but sometimes that vintage nostalgia type stuff is. Got a ceramic pipe ashtray, a DS that I'm not sure if it works, but it came with uh, Super Mario, new Super Mario Brothers, which the game alone will pay for it because I only paid five bucks for that. And even, I think, broken, this is worth more than five dollars. I picked up a Bible. I see lots of resellers have a lot of success selling Bibles. I don't. I But I don't know why other people have success selling them and I don't. So, I don't know. I, I tried. For the price, I think I paid 50 cents for it or something. It might have been in a group deal. It's been five days now, so I'm not I'm not positive on everything. This was another item I thought was, for one, interesting, but only has really value, I think, if this is Bakelite, which I have to test on all these, including this poker chip set, which if, if, if this is not Bakelite, this is probably worthless. It's very chintzy, not really that cool. If it's Bakelite, now all of a sudden we're talking about money. Got a butter dish, Pyrex butter dish, some Corel, an antique lamp. And that's what I'm saying. The, the sale where I got all this stuff, where I bought, I would say, over 50% of the things I got. 50 cents for this. The prices were just great. I went through their garage, and I just started running back out and piling up. And the ladies were fantastic at the sale. They were bubble wrapping all the dishware. They gave me a tote to put it in. It, it was great. I'm very bummed that my camera died before this sale. I could have went to that sale. There was actually two sales out of the 37. If I'd went to both, I could have just bought out everything they had and and I wouldn't have to go to another garage sale for the rest of the summer. But that's that's not really that fun either. Uh, got a stack of PS1 games, 50 cents a piece. There was 20, paid 10 bucks. This was the disappointment of the day. This is on me though. I looked at this and in my mind, I went, oh wow, these are Magic the Gathering cards. I was not a Magic the Gathering player, but I know that the older ones, just like most card collectibles right now, have a pretty high value and not just like inflated on the old Magic cards. But unfortunately, I didn't just look at the backside where I would have seen that this is like a companion deck to a religious board game. And so these are 100% worthless. On the upside of that, it looks like a really fun game. So maybe I'll buy, use one, play it. It's a deck building turn-based game. It, it's, it seems like one of those games that has a lot of rules. That's the type of game I like. It's hard to find other people that enjoy that type of game. Um, 
Corel bowls. This was a cool one. This was the first purchase of the day. This is a baby Smurf, Smurf from 1984 in the box. It's not new in the box, but, and there is a little stain you can see on his belly there. But I think with like a Tide stick or something, I'll be able to get that out. The doll alone sells for about $50. And I found comps with the box. Those also sold for about $50. Also, I saw a sold for with the box for $25. That's one of those things where people don't do enough research or they just want to get rid of the item, whatever. I'm going to price it because there's none. There hasn't been any sold within three months with the box. There's none listed with the box right now. I'm going to put it up high. I'm probably going to put it about $100. And if somebody offers me $75, if somebody offers me $60, I'll probably still take it. But I thought that was really cool. The older couple where I got that at, very, very nice people. I enjoyed my conversation with them. Uh, this Jumanji game, this is new, new in package, but also this game is fairly new. I think this only came out a couple years ago. So, but new in, new in package game, easy list. It was three bucks. I didn't even haggle on that. I, I figure I'll probably get 20 bucks. Even if it's 20 bucks free shipping, I'll still make some money and it'll take me seconds to list it. All right, so on to electronics. I got a Kodak projector that I have sold this exact same one before for about $75. That's in the original box, so that's pretty cool. Then there was all the Sansui stuff. I also picked up this Kenwood, um, a Magnavox DVD VCR, Philips head unit, another Sansui product, and, an and another one of the projectors. I think these are the exact same projector and the one I've sold before. The other units that weren't the Sansui, I paid about eight bucks a unit. That's not a great price. And I didn't look them up. So if they're a $150 unit, yeah, that is a great price. I'm always willing to pay a little bit more at a house than I am at a Goodwill or a thrift store. Because usually if an electronic makes it to a thrift store, it's because it doesn't work or because it might work, something like that. But when you buy it from a home, usually the chances of it working are better. So I'll pay a little bit more than I normally would. But all in all, if one of the units work, I'll still make a couple bucks. Uh, small TV, which is actually the exact same TV as this one, just a smaller version. And I'm thinking when I rearrange the garage that I might take that one and put it in one of these upper units because I have all these peg holes here, like you can see this shelf. And I think I wanna put all of the shelves in. And if I take that TV and I put it in one of these upper units, that'll give me more space to put all my collectibles and my consoles and things. And then my TV will be up higher. Also, better for watching to have it at eye level instead of bending down the whole time, breaking your neck. Then we have a Kenwood, paid about eight bucks, Sansui. Uh, this was with the Sansui stuff. It's a Fisher CD player. I don't know how much that one's worth. Again, didn't look up almost anything. I just really haven't had time. Life is piling up on me a little bit, but I'll get caught up. This one is very cool. If this works, I will probably keep this. This is a computerized automatic DD turntable. So... As I'm saying that, I don't know if this is for albums. This can't be for albums because why would it have all the stuff? This has to be a laser disc player, if I'm not mistaken. I'll I'll definitely have to double check on that. If it's a laser disc player, then no, I'm not keeping it. I'll have to buy a laser disc to test it, but I'm I'm not positive on this. This this one I think is going to end up being worth a decent amount of money. And then a, a TEC head unit, which I have one for, like this for sale right now is the one I used to always use. And this just looks like maybe a little better version than the one I had. So this is probably about a hundred dollar unit if it works. That's the caveat to all electronics. They're worthless if they don't work. Some you can sell for parts, but I, I don't know if I'll list anything for parts again, because you just have to sit on it for so long. Because not only does the item have to have you have to have that item break on somebody else then you have to have somebody that's willing to pay somebody or able to fix that item that's just too long tail for me maybe once i get some new shelves in 
because my new shelves are going to be steel. I can put heavy things on them, unlike these ones where I, I'm very, I'm, I'm throwing stuff on the ground because, because I don't want to put one of these TVs on it and a shelf break. I don't think they would. I just don't want to risk it. Let me do a quick walk around. Oh, yes. At that same sale where I bought a ton of stuff, I'm not going to pull it all out, but it was a lot of your Corningware Corel stuff. And I had avoided buying things like that all day because I didn't want my car full of glassware bouncing around, going down two tracks and seasonal roads because that's what was happening and just have glass flying around my car, something breaks. But at this point, I was getting down towards the end of the day and the price was just too good. And the people, again, these la these three ladies were fantastic. They bubble wrapped, you can see, they bubble wrapped everything. They put it in here. They were very helpful. They were glad to see stuff going. And the prices on it, I didn't haggle with any of it. I ended up paying, I think, 75 bucks at the sale, somewhere around that area. And I didn't haggle because all of the prices were half or better than what I normally pay for those types of things at a Salvation Army. So even if I don't list those, I could take that tote, put it out to storage, and that's good wintertime back stock to deal with whenever I have extra time, which might end up happening because today is Wednesday and there's another big community sale coming up this weekend. So I might cherry pick all the expensive stuff and then take everything out to storage so that I can just try to stay on top of things. I did recruit my girlfriend. She's going to work with me tomorrow for about a half a day and try to get some of this, some of this stuff churning it out and, and get some listings up because I'm starting to get a little backed up, which I'm not upset about. I just don't like moving things more than once. I don't want to box all this up and take it out to storage. I'd like to get it listed, but not having my new shelving in is kind of a hiccup because the more I load up on these shelves, the more I have to take off of them and put on the new shelves. So that's a bit of a bit of a quandary, bit of a problem. Uh, so I'm going to take a break here, try to get some of this listed, at least get some of it cleared out, go to my appointment, come back, and then we'll pull orders for the day. So I'm a dummy. Uh, my appointment is tomorrow. So that was a half hour, 45 minutes I wasted in the middle of my day that I also get to waste in my day tomorrow. Awesome. So let's get to pulling orders. I cleaned everything up. I was only able to list a couple things and I'll list more after I pack everything. But this is one of the items that sold. So I need a little bit of extra time just to make sure I get everything out on time today. So I got 11 orders for about $325, somewhere in that range, doing some quick math estimating rounding off that kind of thing but that's that's good i'm i'm very happy about that one of them i could hold off till friday but it's a very easy packer so i will do that one today as well first thing going out is 1940s vintage bell systems rotary phone this item was a giant pain in my butt and not the item itself because it's just a rotary phone. It's worth a little less than I expected, but that was only because it has some damage here. I don't know if I'm even showing you that. And it was a little bit more beat up than I thought when I bought it, but I got I accepted an offer, $28 plus shipping. And the reason I accepted an offer was because I had the same buyer continuously messaging me, asking if I would open up the phone and show them a picture of the inside. No. And I kept saying no. And eventually that was my only response. I would just send no. And I, uh, I'm i going to block them because I don't want that to ever happen again. I just, I made a side note of it, block this user. And next time I'm on the computer, I'll do that. But it was, it was annoying. They kept sending me the same message. So what they're doing is they're going through every listing and probably sending out that same message to anyone who doesn't have pictures of the inside. And I went and looked at their store. Their store is that they specialize in these types of phones. They sell the innards, they repair them, all the above. No, I'm, I, I sent you an offer that was $10 off. If you want to pay that, pay that. If not, go away. And so when someone who hasn't bothered me sent me an offer of $28, I said, please get this thing out of my store so I don't have to hear from that person again. And $28 plus shipping. And they actually said, I think 
this is the one I got a message. It was something like, hey, can you do me this price because I live in Michigan, something like that, so shipping is a little less. Sure, but that wasn't the reason I did it. The reason I did it is because I didn't want to hear from that other buyer ever again, and I hadn't blocked them yet, which is something you can do. That'll be my tip of the day, which if you haven't figured out, all of my tip, of the, most of my tips of the day, I don't think of these ahead of time. So you can block buyers. So if someone's just sending you annoying messages or they've been a problem or they or someone tries to hassle you on a return, which I'm currently dealing with, you can block that buyer so they can so you never have to deal with them again unless they make a new account. But it's a very useful tool that I don't utilize often, but when I do, ooh, it feels good. Because if you had a storefront, you could, you know, kick somebody out and then you got to put their picture up and all that. But with eBay, you type in their name into a little box and that person does not exist to you anymore. It's wah, fantastic. Next thing up, this is going to be kind of hard to get out, but it is TC Timber Toy. Uh, it's a wooden arc. Might have to put the camera down because I got things in my way and it's a big box. Took an offer on it. This was a toy from my childhood toy collection that I remember fondly. I spent many an hour playing with it. I thought it was super cool and fun. Let me get it out there. I don't know if I'm showing it to you there. But it is an, a wooden arc with all the animals, all the sets of animals. Very cool. I do have the box, but I only used it for storage purposes because it's very beat up. And if I ship it in with that box, it's going to end up costing way too much money. Where if I take all the parts out, the difference in price I would have got was not worth dealing with a with a junky box. That, that just wasn't... It's not a collector's item. So the box, I don't think, mattered. I thought about possibly saying, hey, I have the box if you want it. But then... I'd have to, again, the shipping would cost too much because the box is too big. I got $40 plus shipping. And even without the box, they're paying $25.40 in shipping. So, you know, if it ended up being bigger, you're talking maybe $30 in shipping. That's not, that's not fun for anybody. Next up on A4, Pyrex DC1.5C. Uh, not that one this big mamma jamma yep dc 15c it's a oval fluted lid and that i got 11.99 plus shipping the you'll i figured out and i it should have been fairly obvious but a lot of the the pyrex when you get the number that's the <laughs> lid and then the letter system is which one whether that's a color or you'll find these ones exactly the same, but they don't have this fluting around the handle. That would be, you know, not a C or not a D 1.5 C. It'll be the same numbers, but it'll be a little different. And that's the difference. And then next up we have, if you saw when I listed this, I made a, a gaff um, where I wasn't wearing my glasses when I was going through stuff. And I was like, Nancy Dick mystery novel. I wonder, you know, it's like a Nancy Drew ripoff. No, just wasn't wearing my glasses. Nancy Drew, mystery story, the mystery at the ski jump. This is a old copy of this right here. I paid cents for this. It was in a big group buy, a lot buy. So I don't know, maybe a quarter into that. Um, 10.79 free shipping that will of course go media mail. And then this item right here, Sylvania VCR TV. I got that in a big lot of electronics. I got for my father, 10 items or so. Only three worked, the TV and the two very cheapest. Didn't really want to list them, but I'd already spent the time, DVD players. And the TV sold fairly quickly. I think I actually sent out an offer on this, uh, 67 49 plus shipping. And then, make sure my hand's clean uh, for this one, DPC White Hat Extended Bill. Also has the floaty, uh, whatever you call this thing in the back of, a, back of a hat, neck protector or something. And I wanted to make sure my hand was clean because it is white 
and I'll be careful where I sit that because sometimes things in my garage are dirty. I will put it right on top of that TV. But yes, this right here, I have two of them, one in white, one in gray. I think they're new, but there was no tags. I didn't put new with tags, I said used. The same buyer sent me an offer on both of them and I responded with the exact same counter offer, but they only bought one of them. Who knows? Uh, $19.99 free shipping. Neck cape, that's what they're calling that back thing, a neck cape. Sent out an offer. This is in the old system, been around for quite some time. Vintage Midland weather station radio type of thing. I tested it with batteries. It does not have the AC adapter, but that, that's been sitting on a shelf for quite some time, probably over a year. So $4.79 plus shipping to get it out of my garage is great. And unless that's going really far, I'll probably make a couple bucks on the shipping. That was in that time period where I was still a little iffy on shipping. I'd gotten burnt a couple times, so I was overestimating on everything, which now I've gotten back to more of a realistic, comfortable zone. Just more knowledge, more experience. You start figuring out. This thing was super cool. Vintage Nerf and Surf Hydro Ball, new in package. And I got that for two bucks at the Goodwill. Um, this is from 1995, and that's a Kenner Nerf. I think it's still owned by Kenner, but I'm not sure. I took uh, $20 free shipping. They were selling $20 used, so I listed mine $24.99. But somebody sent me an offer of $20. That's fair. I paid $2, bucks, 20 bucks out the door. I'm making, you know, $15, $12, something like that. In a couple days, I, it sold almost immediately. I've just, at this point, I've got to, I've said this before, I got to focus a little more on, on, on turnover. So a little cheaper prices, you know, if an offer comes out and it's fair, instead of being like, I'll wait for a couple bucks. No, take the fair offer. And that's not for everyone. That wasn't my plan six months ago, a year ago. But now that's where I've gotten to, where I have enough stuff in my inventory, enough back inventory, all the above. Fair offers will be accepted going forward. Next up, Cross Crib, the board game. Now, this is going to be over here in the old system, I think. I think wrong. Ah, here we go. Should have looked at the listing. I was looking right at it. That's why I'm using my phone, Drew. Remind yourself. Uh, Cross Crib, used but complete. Uh, that was from just our family board game collection that we collected over our childhood and barely played any of them. $19.99 plus shipping. Now this one, I'm going to find the message because I found it adorable. It is a home and garden party lasagna pan, 13 by 9. You can see it's in a not normal place because it's very big and had been around for a while and I kind of was just trying to get it out of the way because it was a quick way to gain a bunch of shelf space. Let me dump out the packing peanut and it is heavy, 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 heavy. That's probably why it took so long to sell because shipping on that is going to be expensive. Well, let me see if I can find the message real quick. I wanted to mention to him, to the, to the lady and say, hey, I'm going to read your message on my YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. But that will get you in trouble with eBay. You can't mention, I can't mention to people, to buyers that I have a YouTube channel. I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it. if I had a website or anything like that. That will get you in trouble. That will get you banned. All right, here we go. Thank you for selling me this. And I accepted an offer. A little lower, but again, wanted it out of the way. Thank you for selling me this. My hubby broke mine years ago when we lived in Michigan. And I've never forgiven him. LOL. Can't wait to make a pan of lasagna. Many exclamation points. It's my B day on June 1st. So I'll let him know that I'll let him know what he got me. Thanks again. Uh, that tickled me. I enjoyed that message. I said something like, I don't think that covers your years of stress. He still owes you some flowers on top. Something like that. Something, something, I thought was humorous to kind of continue the conversation. That I got $24.99 plus shipping. And then last thing up that could go out tomorrow. Uh, I took an offer. I wasn't going to, but again, 
I'm not a collector. I mean, I am a collector, but I don't need to be collecting things that are listed to sell for, but it is a blue Vegeta Super Saiyan that I got retail arbitrage for, oh, I think $4, $13.99 free shipping that goes in a perfect size box that I have. Uh, just pop that in there. I'll probably put a little bubble wrap around it because it's more of a collector thing. People like the box to be intact. But that is all the sales for today. Really good sales. I'm feeling more comfortable. Had a couple good sales days last week. This one's good. I got good inventory to go out. I'm in negotiations right now, which is what my hope was for these gum tape dispensers with a eBay store that does gum tape dispenser repairs and sales and that i was going to reach out to them but i was i was like i don't know how that works out i i don't know if you're if it'd be okay to try to sell something to somebody through the ebay i don't know i didn't want to mess with that but they messaged me you know what's your bottom price on one of these and i said hey it's so and so much i have two more i could probably do a better deal if you'd like to buy all of them and they have just messaged me back whether or not they are they're not interested in all three but the two better pack ones they said maybe we can work something out there so hopefully that works out but that's going to be all for today that's them yeah there we go another message so they must really want them but that's going to be all for this one i hope you enjoyed it if you did give the video a thumbs up if you didn't go ahead and give it a thumbs down subscribe share and be good to each other